who stole from you, Fox? Ethan. He took everything from me. Long before we found out he wasn't really a crane, he was the heir. I was the spare. He got all the, the, the praise, all the attention, all the mother's love and affection. Father and grandfather prepped him for the big stuff, groomed him to take the helm of Crane Industries one day. Now, I had a good backhand, so I got a few tennis lessons and some ballroom dancing lessons. I'm sorry. Don't feel sorry for me. It was a long time ago. I've gotten over it. Daddy Fox. I mean, it's really obvious that your family hurt you. Yeah, well, um, you know, my car's clothes and platinum card helped ease the pain. I don't believe you. Why not? When I was Ivy's personal assistant, I saw the way she treated you, never inviting you to join the family on holidays, sending you greeting cards with, with money in it for your birthdays. You know, I started getting so upset that I took the money and bought you gifts with it. That was you? you a big thank you. You know, I, I noticed what I thought was a change in mother's behavior a while back. I mean, she started typing these thoughtful little letters, you know, to give me a boost. And the gifts she sent, I mean, they actually meant something. You know, not like the cold hard cash I'd been getting. Yeah, I even remember one time in the letter that I got, she typed something, Dearest Fox, You may have been born my second son, but don't ever think you're second rate. <laughs> I, I felt so good about myself after reading that. Those weren't my mother's words, though, were they? They were yours. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I should have let you go on thinking that, that Ivy wrote them. But it doesn't matter, you know? It's, um, it's not like I care.